the bottom line is the can has been kicked down the road for longer than I've been alive. But at some point, that won't be an option anymore. City leaders in Danville need to fix the sewer system. Doing so will make everyone's sewer bills higher for years. But if they don't do something, it could end up costing even more later on. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting live in our newsroom. So, Courtney, how much more will this cost? All right, that's a big question, Jennifer. And most people in Danville pay an average of about $16 a month for their sewer bill. And that could go up to about $29 a month if this passes. But but some city leaders argue that's a small price to pay to maintain something crucial that's crumbling. We still have some sewers that were actually built at the turn of the last century. And not much has been done since. That's why Danville Mayor Ricky Williams says updates are long overdue. We had a woman fall into a sinkhole in our neighborhood. Um, the, it just collapsed on her. Um, and so that's the kind of aging infrastructure that we're dealing with. Um, we get sewer backups in folks' yards, in their houses. Um, we get flooding from stormwater um, drainage issues. That's why he says repairs have to happen soon. If we f are able to line a pipe, it costs us $50 per square foot. However, if we have to replace that, it costs us $250. It'll be paid for through Danville sewer bills. The increase will differ based on the type of property. It's 85% residential, tripling commercial, and three and a half times on the industrial. And I'm, I just think it's, I think it's ridiculous. Alderman Aaron Troglia will be voting against it. There's never a perfect time to do this, but honestly, I think you couldn't pick a worse time. And I just don't think the sewer system's gonna fall apart in one year on this if we don't do it. If we, we should be at least waiting till COVID is, until we know what's gonna go on with COVID and we're not gonna get shut down. But Mayor Williams says they don't have that much time. If we don't do it, do something about it now, we're going to get to a place where it, it makes getting rid of wastewater impractical for both residents and businesses. And this still needs to be passed by the full city council. They'll vote on it next Tuesday. If it does go through, they'll start collecting money in April, and there will be a 5% increase on sewer bills every year after that. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Courtney, thanks.